Okay, another Raspberry Pi project. Um, Apologise for the shaky hand cam, but what I'm going to try to do is make an old vinyl player smart um, in the sense that I can just play the audio output into a Google um, Home ecosystem so I can have multiple speakers playing the sound output. Um, normally, you'd buy like a Bluetooth adapter and you can Bluetooth one speaker. I want to use all the speakers. So, nice and easy way to, for me to do this is use a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a 400 at the minute, but there's no reason it can't scale down to one of these things. Pi Zero. Um, so I'm using, at a at minute because I've got no idea what I'm doing in the terminal, I'm using Mix Software, which is basically like a DJ setup to loop back the input to an output. And the output is a DNA streamer service in Pulse Audio. It obviously finds all of your um, DNA supported players on the network. Um, and then you can select that. It's like an output for your like, system. So say if you had a pair of headphones, you select that. So what I'll do is I'll select the... Again, apologize for a shaky hand cam. I'll just do it to the one in my room here. And that will connect, obviously, uh, to Google. It takes a few seconds for it to kick in, but... I've got... Uh, how do I get to media? Yeah, so there we go. So that's showing DLNA live audio from Raspberry Pi. Now, it's not live as such. It's about a six-second delay. Um, pausing the actual output doesn't pause your input obviously because it's not that smart um, but it can just shut up for me for, for the minute so what we'll show is if I pause right that's paused so it's about six seconds from the actual streaming um, the actual monitoring software is not there's not much it's about a 50 millisecond delay from actually seeing that to a normal output but this is paused and it's still going so yeah there's no easy way around that bit but for me, all I want that to do is play the vinyl um, and just output to all the speakers. So again, my speaker system is configured. I've got different groups there, so I can select individual speakers or I can select all of the speakers in the house. So that is a very cheap way. I mean, these are about 10, 15 pound um, wireless as well. So all I need to do is plug that into this and then you've just got... Um, home network speakers set up basically for my old vinyl vinyl collection so dead chuff this is super simple there's probably a way for me to get this um in a nice terminal so when it boots it loads and loops back the input to the output or this output but it needs to be selected so i'm not sure how to get around that but yeah nice simple project um didn't take too long and it works an absolute charm